Hi everyone and welcome to 7 News. We are proud to bring you some exciting news today about the Jesus House website. The Jesus House website was ranked second in the UK's best large church website at the 2010 Christian New Media Awards and Conference on the 15th of October. This ceremony was spearheaded by Premier Radio to recognise and reward the best in Christian websites and web applications. Jesus House made it to the final eight after being anonymously nominated last month. Claire Manwaring, our website content manager, and Yemi Okunore, our IT manager, were proud recipients of the prestigious award on behalf of the church. As a result, we would like to show you some of the exciting features of our website. Be inspired by testimonies from people who've overcome challenges and read about how God has answered their prayers on our testimonies page. You can also write and submit your own testimony. You can read up on the latest stories happening in and around Jesus House, including all the Christmas updates, as well as the latest information on the building expansion plans, complete with the picture gallery. Listen to and study the Bible online and pick up a new language. Our audio Bible is dramatized in over 300 different languages. John 3, 16 For God so loved the world Qu'il a donné son fils unique Mas tenha a vida eterna You can now order books and CDs directly from our bookshop pages online This one is for all you confessed shopaholics in the house You know who you are Our brand new easy fundraising portal is a unique way for you to donate to Jesus House while you do your shopping online It's simple just do your shopping online as you usually would, but if you go via our easy fundraising portal, a small amount of money is donated to Jesus House, and the genius is, it's at no extra cost to you. In addition to the fundraising element, Google beware, because you can now make the easy search portal on our website your default search engine, and every search you make results in a small donation to us, again, at no extra cost to you. Remember, every penny counts. If you would like to know more, or if you would like a live demonstration, Please go to one of the desks in the foyer right after the service. And finally, don't forget our very own Jesus House Radio, which broadcasts 24-7 from our website. Exceptional practices lead to excellent results. Jesus House Radio, for all the nations. You can also access Jesus House Radio via either our Nokia or iPhone apps. Technology. Genius. Wherever you are in the world, at the tip of your fingers, a new way to listen to live music, news, chat shows, and upcoming events, anytime and anywhere. All our Sunday and Wednesday services brought live to your iPhone. The new Jesus House Radio iPhone app, now available for free at the Apple iTunes Store, or via the Jesus House website. The new Jesus House Radio iPhone app. Get it now. As we round up seven news for this week, we'd like to thank you all for tuning in. But before we go, we'd just like to leave you with these quick news bites. From the team and myself, thank you and God bless. On Saturday the 13th of November, Tight Knots, our marriage ministry, have organised an evening with Pastor Chizo Akisonya for married women only. Do come along for an evening of open and honest discussion about marriage with the opportunity to ask questions. It will be held at the Regent's Banqueting Suite, 331 Regent's Park Road, Finchley, between 7 and 10 p.m. For more information or to register your interest, please email tightknots at jesushouse.org.uk. The Jesus House Marketplace Ministry aims to equip people to become influential representatives of the Kingdom of God in the global marketplace. We would like to invite you to our third quarterly lecture on Saturday the 13th of November at 10am in the Hepzibah Room. The topic is The Winds of Change, the Strategic Implications of Change on New Beginnings. We encourage you to come and learn about the importance of having an effective strategy to help yourself or your organisation manage the changes that result when deciding to move in a new direction. 
For more information, please contact Mr. Ade or Jomo. As we go through the next week, please take a moment on Thursday the 11th of November to remember all those who have died in the line of duty whilst preserving our freedom and our way of life. On Remembrance Sunday every year, we salute and raise money for the families of all those who fought and died during the world wars by wearing a poppy. So wherever you are on Thursday, join millions around the world in observing a two minute silence in remembering those who served and are currently serving. We would like to encourage you to pray for members of our armed forces who continue to put themselves in harm's way in war zones across the world.